Shalom, all praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the Apostles of Great Millstone for the teachings of the Scriptures, among other things. And Shalom to the sincere Akiam, thus doing his work in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is Genesis chapter 43, subtitled, I mean, titled, The Second Trip to Egypt. Verse 1 And the famine was sore in the land. And it came to pass, when they had eaten up the corn which they had brought out of Egypt, their father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. And Judah spake unto him, saying, The man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brethren, I mean your brother, be with you. Right? Uh, what's going on? If thou wilt send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. But if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with them. And Israel said, Before, why, um, Israel said, Jacob, Israel said, Wherefore deal it ye so ill with me? As to tell the man whether ye had yet another brother. <laughs> you shouldn't have told him nothing. Uh, Israel said, Jacob said, Israel, his name is changed to Jacob. Okay. So, yeah, and, um, uh, it's like, uh, going on. Verse 7. And they said, The man asked us straightly of our state and of our kindred, saying, is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him according to the toner of these words. Toner. Tenor. Could we certainly know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Judas said unto Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go, that we may live and not die, both we and thou. And also... Our little ones, I will be, uh, I will be surety for him. Of mine hand shalt thou require him. And if I bring him not unto thee, and set him before thee, then let me bear the blame forever. For except we had lingered, surely now we had returned this second time. And their father Israel said unto them, if it must be so now, do this. Take one of the best fruits in the land in your vessels and carry down the man a present. <laughs> the man a present, right? A little balm a, 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 and a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts and almonds. And take double money in your hand. I forgot what myrrh is, but I know what it is, but I... It's some it's some kind of spices or something like that, but I forgot what it was. Aromic gum, ricin, obtained from several trees and scrubs. Okay, okay, okay. It's just spices. See, sweet sis, sweet sweet sizzling. Hmm. Okay. And it says for first twelve, and take double money in your hand. And the money that was brought again in the mouth of your sacks, carry it again in your hand. Peradventure, it was an oversight. Now the word peradventure, it means uh, perhaps. Take also your brother and arise, go again unto the man. And the Most High Almighty, the Power Almighty, gave you mercy before the man, that he may send away your other brother. And Benjamin, which is Simeon, the other brother. If I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. And the men took that present, and they took double money in their hand, and Benjamin, <laughs> Joseph's little brother, and rose up and went down to Egypt and stood before Joseph. And when Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the ruler of his house, Bring these men home and slay, <laughs> and make ready, for these men shall dine with me at noon. And the man did as Joseph bade, and the man brought, hey, shit, what the hell? And the man brought the men, 
into Joseph's house. And the men were afraid because they were brought into Joseph's house. And they said, because of the money that was returned in our sex at the first time, are we brought in? That's what they thought. That he may seek accus <laughs> accusations against us and fall upon us, meaning he won't kill you. Right? Fall upon you, meaning uh, uh, gonna kill you. And take us for bond men or asses. And or asses uh, fall upon you. In some, in some verses, it means to actually attack you or to kill you but in this verses it means um, basically attack you and, and make you a slave because that's not going to go uh, friendly okay and they came near to the steward of joseph's house the word steward is somebody that's in charge the the the, the, the like stewardess yeah and they communed with him at the door of the house and said, O oh, sir, we come indeed down at the first time to buy food. And it came to pass when we came to the inn that we opened our sacks and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of his sack. Our money was full weight and we have brought it again into our hands, into our hand. And the other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food we cannot tell who put our money in our sacks and he said peace be to you fear not your power and the power of your father the most high Yahweh, had given you treasures in your sacks i had your money and he brought simeon out unto them <laughs> simeon was chilling there for a while and the man brought the men into joseph's house and the man brought the men into Joseph's house and gave them water and they washed their feet and he gave their asses provender which is uh, you know straw straw hay whatever mm, verse 25 and they made ready the present against Joseph came at night came at noon sorry the present that he got for they heard that they should eat bread there and when Joseph came home they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And he asked them of their welfare and said, Is your father well? The old man of whom ye spake, is he yet alive? And they answered, Thy servant, our father, is in good health, yet he is yet, uh, I mean, he is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and make um, ob ob obedience, obedience, but it means obedience, if I am remembering correct. A gesture or movement of the body, such as courtesy, courtesy, or expression, div div what? Difference or homage, an attitude of difference or homage. Yeah, basically obedience from the old french present particularly particular of obey or obey yeah some form of obedience obeisance 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 oh yeah going on and he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother benjamin his mother's son and said is this your younger brother of whom ye spake unto me? And he said, The Most High Yahweh be gracious unto thee, my son. And Joseph made haste, for his bowels did yearn upon his brother. You know, and he saw it where to weep. <laughs> you know, he, he was he was getting all emotional. You know, he haven't seen your little brother in such a long time. So he, he got a little, you know, he got a little... Uh, you know, he got a little watery. Let's 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 say it. Let's put it down like that. He got a little watery in the eyes. And he entered into his chamber and wept there, because <laughs> he got a little, you know, he got a little um, moist in the eyes, you know, a little moist in the eyes. Verse thirty-one. And he washed his face and went out and reframed himself and said, "Set on bread." And they set on for him by himself, and for them by themselves. And for the Egyptians, 
which did not eat with them by themselves because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians so that shows you that the Egyptians did not see you as their equal they'd be like hey, ew. just like the homosexuality is an abomination that's how we are an abomination to eat with for the Egyptians okay verse 33 and they said before him the firstborn according to his birthright and the youngest according to his youth and the men marveled one at another and he took and sent messes unto them from before him but Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs and they drank and were merry with him you know <laughs> they was happy merry uh, the word mess I think it doesn't say it here but I think I gotta go to the Hebrew mess uh, clutter da, 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 da. wait let me just go to the Hebrew right Genesis 43 and 34 now the word mess right and there followed him a mess of meat from the king. Hmm, mess is food, right? But I wanted to know. A portion. Yep, portion, present. Uh, large, large, largesse, gift. Yeah, it's a big portion. So it says here. And they took and sent them messes unto them. Uh, oh, wait a minute. And he took and sent messes unto them from before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs. And they drank and were merry with him. Meaning they were, they were you know, you get no uh, merry, you know. When you high, you, when you drink, you get, uh, you get nice. You get good. So with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.